Meet Quetzalcoatlus, the largest flying creature to ever live. But don't let this fool you. It's no dragon. It's a pterosaur. And at its height, it could fly high above the Cretaceous world, dominating the skies. Quetzalcoatlus had a wingspan of up to 33 feet. That's bigger than a fighter jet. Despite this, it wasn't very heavy. Just like many modern day birds, it had hollow bones. Because of those bones, it made it incredibly lightweight, only weighing 400 to 500 pounds. Because of this, this creature didn't flap its wings aimlessly. Quetzalcoatlus was an expert soarer, using thermal updrafts to glide for long distances without wasting energy. Unlike modern birds of prey, Quetzalcoatlus wasn't a hunter in the traditional sense. It likely fed on small vertebrates, carcasses, and possibly even fish. Its long, toothless beak was perfect for sweeping across the ground for a quick meal. Even though Quetzalcoatlus could soar like a pro, it wasn't built to take flight easily. When it was on the ground, it used its long legs to hop or run to build up speed so it could take off, making it more of a ground dweller than a typical flying predator. So, while Quetzalcoatlus may have ruled the skies in the Cretaceous, it was adapted for a life that balanced flight and terrestrial life, hunting from above but relying on the ground as much as the air. The skies of the Cretaceous were a very different place, and Quetzalcoatlus was at the top of that aerial food chain. Let me know your thoughts on this incredible creature in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe for more prehistoric content. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.